comforting classic recipe today on Let's Celebrate TV. We're making peppers stuffed with Spanish rice. Hello, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV. I'm your host, Peter Lee. Today, we're going old school comfort food. We're going to make stuffed bell peppers. Let's get started. First, we're gonna start with the stuffing. I have here a package of ground meat. This is a mixture of veal, beef, and pork sometimes known as meatloaf mix or meatball mix. You can usually get it in your grocery stores. Sometimes they're all combined together. You don't have to use this mixture. You can use ground, regular beef, or turkey, or whatever you like. I happen to like this combination. So into our pot, which is heating up, we we'll put a little bit of oil, a tablespoon or so, and we'll get our meat going right away. A little bit of salt and pepper. I'm just gonna break this up and help it brown. There we go. This is going to take maybe five or seven minutes, however long it takes, but you want to make sure you get everything nice and browned. Why browning? Because it's going to add flavor. And it doesn't have to get dark, dark brown like you would if you were really browning get a crust on something, but you want to get it started. This is all going to go in the peppers and then in the oven and cook more. It's about where I want it to be. So let me just spoon it out into a bowl. And this package of meat was a little over a pound and a half or so. Now, we're going to need to get rid of the liquid that rendered out of that meat and some of the excess oil. So let's just try and delicately pour it out. This pan gets hot, so do this carefully. All right, perfect. We'll just get rid of this. <clears throat> All right, now, rest of the oil back in. Now we're going to start with our vegetables. I have an onion that I just roughly chopped. Nothing pretty. Doesn't have to be perfect. A couple cloves of garlic, naturally. When do I ever not use garlic? Let's get these going. A green bell pepper, it's plain ordinary pepper. You can use any color you want. I happen to have a green one. We're gonna let these go for a few minutes. Salt and pepper. Always season your layers of food. And the salt will help them really start cooking. It'll help the water come out. You just want to start these sweating down. You don't have to cook them all the way, but you want to get it started. Plus, it smells really good. I actually want to add a little more oil to that pan. Here 
you know, you have to adjust as you go. There we go. Now, I have a diced jalapeno. And I just cut it in half and took out the ribs and the seeds. This is entirely optional. You can leave this out. You can add more, or you can put some other chili if you like it really spicy. Put that in. Give it all a stir. And that's just going to add a little fruity heat to our stuffing. Now while these are sweating down, let's get the peppers ready. I have here four bell peppers of various colors. I've already prepped three of them and I'll show you how I'll do the fourth. Let's put that out of the way. Simple. Let's cut the top off, maybe a quarter of an inch way down. Now, all these ribs and seeds, you can use a little knife if you want, or you can just dig in and just take them out. I like using a little knife, makes it a little cleaner. Just carefully go around and cut it away from the sides, and then just pull it out. Easy. Okay, right into the trash. Now, save its little hat, but we're gonna trim the stem a little bit. Okay. Now, we'll leave those aside. Vegetables are sweating down nicely. We can go ahead and add our meat back in. Into the pot. Right. Next is rice. Now I've had on my back burner there some rice cooking. This is just two cups of rice that I cooked with a little chicken stock. You can use chicken stock or water, whatever you like. You could use leftover rice from something you cooked the day before. We're going to put most of this in. This is hot too. Let's do this carefully. Stir it around. And a 15 ounce can of fire roasted tomatoes. Again, these are just diced tomatoes. You can use fire roasted, you could use plain, whatever you like. And this is what we have. I'm just going to put this all together. Grab a mitt to hold it. We really just want this to combine, let these flavors come together. We can turn the heat off. Now, the peppers. Okay. Put our little lids aside. Actually, let's put these here. Give myself some room to work. Now this is how simple this is. Just fill them up, pack it in nicely. Easy. Now, when I decided to make this dish, I was talking to my son, and we were talking about the show and food, and I said, yeah, I, I need to decide what to make next. And he said, why don't you make your mom stuffed peppers? They were so good when I was growing up. And I thought, that's brilliant. Why don't I make her stuffed peppers? So that's where this recipe comes from. 
One more. All right. And again, you can be a little sloppy at this point. It's fine. This is comfort food. Now, we have all of this wonderful stuffing left. So before our peppers go back in the pan, we're going to put the stuffing in. Or at least as much of it as we can. What this will do, this will make a nice little bed for the peppers to roast. And it all just marries the flavor together. All right. That's good. Now, yeah. that's always the challenge of TV. Where to put things? So, I'm just gonna nestle these guys in. You can see better. Bright and colorful. Now we're gonna put their little hats back on. Now this is a pretty wet mixture at this point. If it wasn't, if you thought it was a little dry or a little concerned about it drying out, you could add a little more stock in the bottom to it to keep it moist. Maybe a knob of butter would be nice. I think this right now is fine. I'm gonna cover this in foil and then it's gonna to go to the oven. Okay, my oven's at 350. We're gonna let these go for about 20 minutes covered. Then we'll take the foil off and let them go for another five or 10 minutes to get them a little brown on top. That's it. All right, so we're out of the oven. Now remember, I put these in the oven, 350 degrees covered in foil. We let them go for about 20 minutes. We took the foil off and then I let them bake for another 15 to 20 minutes. So what we have are these beautiful cooked peppers. All of the rice is heated through. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little parsley on these just for a little prettiness. Gild the lily a bit. I'm just gonna give a little taste right from the corner. Yeah. That's my mother's stuffed pepper recipe for sure. I can taste the bell peppers in there, a little bit of heat from the jalapenos, and all those other wonderful flavors. Now, how would you serve this? I would serve it on a nice plate with a salad on the side, maybe a piece of crusty bread with it, and of course, a nice glass of wine. One of these would make a really nice lunch, Two of these would make a very hearty dinner. Alrighty, now as always, we're gonna put the recipe in the credits and on the video description section. And we'll put up any links to any special products that we use or we talk about in our episodes. Now, guys, ask us questions. Write us and tell us what you think of, of the recipe of our show. Ask us questions, tell me. When would you serve this? Maybe for your next Sunday dinner? Remember, on you YouTubers, hit that like button so that everyone knows that you enjoyed our episode. And subscribe. We need subscribers. We want to know you're out there viewing our show. And subscribing doesn't mean that you have to pay for anything. It just lets you know when our new episode is up and ready for you to, to view. And as always, any old time you want, check out the rest of our videos at youtube.com. Let's celebrate TV. That's all the time we have for today. I'm your host, Peter Lee. Thanks for joining us. Cheers. <laughs>